Hello and welcome to episode three of the Weekly Bite. I'm Jonathan Kerbaugh. And I'm Devontae Bell. And I've got to be honest with you guys, we had a four-day week, but one of those days being PSAT day. So we're kind of lacking content right now. But what is clearly apparent by this point, a lack of content will never stop us from making this show. Did I put on a Batman mask last show? I don't remember. I drank too much NyQuil. The entire shoot was a muffled purple haze. <laughs> okay, so while I find your psychiatrist's number again, why don't you give us something actually newsworthy? Okay, well, this isn't exclusive to Colgan, but it's so cool I figured I had to share it. Amazon unveiled their first ever Think Big Space in the World, right here in Prince William County at River Oaks Elementary School. Wow. I am really excited for that. Right now, it's only in elementary schools, but I can't wait for it to get out of high school. I hear that Amazon Prime customers actually get their test grades back within two weeks of taking them. Imagine digitally submitting your science test, and then it just pops up, estimated delivery date, October 24th. <laughs> <laughs> that could be <sighs> Sorry, a lot of stress slash You good there? Yeah. No, you guys I'm not. comfy? No. You uh, breaking in the seat? No, not comfortable. Okay. I literally just forgot yeah. where it was. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. In other news, Mr. Mills was awarded Employee of the Month this Wednesday. Woo! Yeah. Mr. Mills, huge congratulations to you, Mr. Mills. Enjoy your salary increase and your paid leave. Uh. Oh. Wait, what? Uh. He gets neither of those things. Mm -hmm. Well, what does he get? Pride and recognition. What is pride and recognition worth in 2019 exactly? <laughs> this is coming from a guy who makes a doofus of himself every week for free. Uh, yeah, you and I are the same, pal. I don't do this for free. You get paid for this? Seven figures, man. You get paid seven <laughs> figures for this? Yep. All right, well, after the show, I'm going to have a stern talk with the producing team. But in other news, as of this week, Colgan's field hockey team is officially undefeated in their regular season. <laughs> And on the flip side, Colgan's football team almost went un undefeated, but unfortunately won two games. Oh. <laughs> in other news, sociology students embarked on their first field trip this Tuesday to two other Prince William County schools. Yes, I would know. I was one of the sociology students who went to Stonewall Middle School to observe middle schoolers in their natural habitat. <laughs> Sounds scary. It was very scary. I'm lucky to come out with my life. Also, Mrs. Hughes got mad at me because I kept referring to it as the child washing trip. <laughs> I can only imagine why. All right, then. Speaking of field trips, this Wednesday was PSAT day, which means about to, as much to seniors as the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. So very little. However, while seniors were either skipping or running around unsupervised in a metropolitan area, believe it or not, the other three-fourths of the school actually had to take the PSAT. Oh, those poor souls. Here with us today, those four students had to take the PSAT. Here we are interviewing the four students that took the PSAT. Okay, hand. Pavery Mavis, Jordan Yorga, Cam Samarin, and Linguini, who appears to be asleep. How are each of you feeling? Pretty good, actually. Oh. <laughs> really bad, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, how do y'all feel you did? Oh my gosh, I did terrible. I think I even did worse than last time. What did you get last time? I got a 14 -50. What? <laughs> well, I feel all right about it. It was actually kind of easy. Um, no. Math made no sense. Um, do I look like I can tell circus circumference without a calculator? I mean, I still do 2 plus 2 to check myself. <laughs> okay, but the reading wasn't that bad this year, right? Yeah, the last three years I took it, the reading section was way harder. Wait. The last three years. Aren't you a senior? Why'd you even take it again? Are you allowed to do that? <laughs> I got special permission to take it again. The lady thought I was joking at first, but then I showed them all the study guides I made, and she gave me a form to fill it out so I could take it. Are you insane? <laughs> this person is insane. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sophomore, so I've only taken it once before, but from what I can tell, I remember the reading being easier this year. Yeah, the question that was no, about... No, 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 You're not allowed to discuss anything from the test we all signed. Is that actually legally binding? Probably. Uh, what are you doing? I'm deleting my PSAT leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to read you this one. Okay then. So, um, 
Lynn, uh, what was your strategy? Can I poke him? Sure, go ahead. seniors to ever go on the Washington, D.C. scavenger hunt field trip. It was a great honor. Yeah, we did have a great time besides the rain. It was really nice. I mean, we had a lot of fun, and we actually had some footage from that trip, but unfortunately, my minds won't get to see that one. Enjoy. Well, Devante, we made it. No, we didn't. We made it to New York. We're dead. There's the Empire State Building. All right. Our group name? How can you fire me? I'm the one with the camera. <laughs> Our group I'll name? I'll tell you to get back on the bus. Do it. Tell yeah, me get, get back on the bus. No, get I'm in Hollywood. I can't. I shouldn't even be. I shouldn't even be associating with you. I'm famous. Yeah. Let's go find somebody. Let's go find some hot dogs. Oh. No. Walk away. Ooh. Why? Devonte, get in the. No. Get in, Devonte. Oh my God, Devonte, is that logic? Is that logic? The rapper? Oh, oh my God, Devonte, we gotta get a picture. No, I like some people. Logic, oh, logic. I'm your biggest the fan. Like Where'd he go? Oh my God, you idiot! Keep on coming, Devonte. Come on. No, never mind. Leave him. We don't have time. Oh, yeah. ah! Yeah, yeah. Hello. I can see you. On your left. All right, this is the umbrella we have for the uh, trip. My uncle was cooking an egg on the sidewalk. On your left. All right. There are indeed. Quack. 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 I got it's better wide. rates from Geico. Devontae, no. We can't be starting fights. We have to floss? Yeah, you have to do the dance of the floss and bring the people. I'm going home, I'll see you guys later. No. No. I got that on camera. Super Weenie Head Juniors is the top supplier of weenies in the nation. Um, it's the nation's only weenie bar where you can go after you get beat up in a fight. You can go to Super Weenie Head Juniors. Uh, that's the. It's very exclusive. You can only go to Super Weenie Head Juniors if you've just gotten beaten up. Um, it's the only weenie bar in the nation. Uh, so we don't have any competitors, which is why we're the best, is because we have a monopoly. Hey, Devante, say hi to the general public. Hello. Yeah, idiot. <laughs> Devante has one brain cell rattling around his head like the DVD pause menu. Yeah. Throughout my friendship with this group for years, I've lost the majority of them. I have don't blame brain. us for your lack of brain cells. I will, though. I'm like a, uh, what's the thing we learned in chemistry? The, uh, valence electrons? <laughs> I stole your brain cells. But the back. funny part about that is that there's only eight valence electrons, if I remember correctly, which means between you, me, Tyler, Zach, Joseph, and John, there's only eight brain cells. <laughs> and I guess they just bounce around two. from person to person. I think, I think there's two. I think there may be four, because there's four of us. Well, there's six of us, so I guess we just saw how many brain cells you have. That's my brother. I am pretty in He's taking the PSAT sometimes. right now. Hi, Joseph. Sometimes. Say hi to Joseph. He's taking the PSAT. Hi, Joseph. Sup, Seth. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> what an idiot. Didn't get us in there, that's rude. I'm trying my, but I can only angle it so much so Hands my phone off my clout. Twist it the other way. Wow, what an idea. Guys, where are we going? We're figuring that out. Please All right, I got a whole box of crackers. You got some fruit snacks, those are mine. <laughs> Devante, I got your cheese crackers. Thank you. Is that it? I got Pringles, I got gum, I got a Pringles? protein shake. I'm gonna drink this. Yeah, I got Pringles. I'm surprised I didn't open your bag. Yeah, me too. We're off to the Smithsonian Castle, which is most famously known as being the set piece for the second Night at the Museum movie. I thought you were going to say for a castle, for being a castle. It is also a castle. We don't have a lot of those in America. I know across the pond, castles are pretty much like normal real estate, but here in the good old U.S. of A, not so much. I used to own a castle. You used to own a castle? No, yeah. you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. It was washed away by the ocean. Okay. Where was it? What kind of castle? Sand. It was pretty big. 
It's like, you remember Carlos's um, cardboard house from Big Time Rush? We had a shower and like three floors and an oven. If you, I remember it being a thing, I don't really remember it. Too yeah, he like shower. had an oven in it and he made cookies and he was like taking a shower in it at one point. It had running water. There's literally just a scooter right here. It's too easy. It's so much temptation. Of course, the school tethers don't use scooters and they're everywhere. Would you like to interlude us? Anything? What? I don't know. This is the halfway point. Would you like to say anything? Um, we can walk. Let's walk. Let's boogie. Let's look at the castle in the distance. That's the Smithsonian castle. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm claiming it's not. No. Okay. Turn it. Show them the castle. <laughs> That's the Department of Agriculture. If you're here, hold them up then. Okay. Geological Thank you. genius. Monte, take over. Oh, you've got Doritos. Yep. How many Doritos you got left? Are you guys allowed to like sponsor things? This episode is brought to you by Doritos Cool Ranch. It's copyright. It's not copyright because it's not a monetized video. Hey, Devante. What you got there? Is that Spider Man eating an onion ring? We are underwater. We're pressed for time. It just makes a popping sound. That's, That's a hidden photo. talent. That's your photo. What? Yeah. Wow. Here, get this we for the vlog. We have seven minutes. We should start getting back. Get this for the vlog, quickly. Here, just like do this. Here's your hidden talent. Here's your hidden talent. Ready? Oh. Come on, Devante. Let's go. You didn't let me know. Now get a picture. Quick epitaph. Devante has, I think, permanently ruined his sweatshirt. Oh no, it came off on a paper towel, so I'm actually just gonna come off and clean and wash it. Okay, that's good then. I don't know, it kinda looks like rust. It looks like a bird pooped on his shoulder and he tried to rub it off. It's on both shoulders. It looks and like you arms. tried to put on fake tanner and you rubbed it off on your shirt. This might be the end because I'm running out of storage rapidly. So sign off Devante. Uh if this is on the show, we're gonna be cutting back to the interview probably. If this is on the website, it's just going to fade to black. So, say goodbye, Devontae. Bye again. I was hoping he would say goodbye, Devontae. And that's why I think we should re-abolish Kinder Eggs. We're back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that clip. And now, an interview with Kylie Narosky, CFPA Student Council Executive. <laughs> That's what we do for meetings for the show. We have to be like, where's the bathroom? <laughs> and then somebody's like, get out of here. You take your meds, Devontae. I don't think that's something you want to show that. You will. OK. That's a threat. So who, is exa who exactly is on CFPA Council? Well, I'm Treasurer Kylie Karofsky. Our president's Carter Williams. Vice president's Bevin Hester. And our secretary is Lachie Jones. Does Carter still have that Stranger Things sweater that lights up? Has he worn it yet? He has not worn it to any meetings. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, <laughs> I will pester him to wear it next meeting. All right, good. Carter, I remember that from sophomore year choir class. It was the best Christmas sweater I've ever seen. Anyway, um, so what do you usually do at meetings? So in meetings, we lately we've been talking about future events that we're going into, but next meeting on October 31st, Halloween, so hopefully you can remember, um, we're putting together committees for those um, future events that we were talking about. One is the banquets, which is Oscar themed, and the CFPA Olympics, so we need ideas for games for that. Oscar the Grouch or like the Oscars? <laughs> the Oscars. Oh, okay. I thought everybody was going to have to show up in the trash bin and just... We'll think about it next year. That story. was my birthday party this year, but that wasn't even planned. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, then. 
Alrighty then. So I was gonna ask you what the upcoming events are, but you are already spot on, just ready. So I'll just get to the next one. So tell me, why should people come to the CFPA meetings? Well, a lot of people in CFPA don't know about us, but what we do is we have these events that I've been mentioning, and you should come to our meetings because without uh, a proper following or student attendance, we can't get anything done. And so you'll have all these fun events and things that we offer to CFPA students and future CFPA students. And we need you guys to come so that we can put in committees and take ideas and really have our uh, future events more for you guys. Because if it's just us for running it, it's not going to be for you. So um, if you're in CFPA, it would be awesome if you could come and help out a little bit. It's no pressure if you can't make any meeting. Um, but you can sign up for a committee, and we can get you on a group chat or email chain and just take in any ideas. It is, so, it is so sad. You are way more prepared for this than we are, and this is our show. So, so the school's fun relies on the students of the school actually showing up. Yes, or else they can't have fun. Whew. Well, no one's going to be having any fun. Um, anyway, oh, also, I have one last question. Uh, so, so both, like... Both of the CFP events so far have been murder themed, Clue and Sweeney Todd. Is that going to be like a recurring theme all year? Well, so those are uh, shows at the for theater, um, but it is under our concentration. But we have nothing to do with those themes. Mm. Personally, I love it because they're really fun. And I saw Sweeney last night, and it was amazing. So if you saw that, I hope you enjoyed it. Like they said, Clue's coming up next time. And um, it should be pretty cool. Wait, you have murder under your concentration? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. way. Okay. Come on, I got it. All right. Um, well, that's all they wrote. So, thank you so much for coming, Kylie. Uh, everybody, big round of applause for Kylie and Ross. All right. All then. And now, for our musical guest, Gabe Chris. I'm going to be singing You Are the Reason by Callum Scott. All right. You are the reason 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the third episode of the Weekly Bite. We swear we're getting better, even though it doesn't really look like it. Thank you guys so much for coming. Have a great night. <laughs> Get out. What are you doing? For everyone, Go. For everyone who thought it was rude to leave because the doors were closed, you, it's not. Go ahead. Yeah, you guys can walk out. Slam it on your way out.